Yes, welcome back to this channel and in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab and especially the task number one because I saw most of you guys facing the issue on the task number one. So first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done your looker dashboard must look like this. Now here first of all you have to just enable this development mode so just simply click on that toggle and it will be enabled. Now click on this develop option. Now click on the quick love flights. Just wait and then click on the general and then click on this flights and here you will get faa.model file so just open that file now in the description box i will share one link open that link in normal window and you, you are able to access this document okay so now what you have to do just copy this look one command okay and here you will see line number 46 just simply click over here and give some extra space and paste the command from here okay like this now just simply click on save click on valid look ml And click on commit to push just wait and it's a first look so just type look one and click on commit and now click on deploy to production just wait for a couple of second and now what you have to do open the looker in new tab okay now if you just go back to the lab instructions and come on the task number one and check the look one here you will get we have to use airport data set so because of that if you just come over back over here go to your second tab click on this explore option and this time you have to choose the airport just simply click over there wait for a couple of second and now click on the start from here now here just wait for to this data get load and once it's done if you just come back to live instruction we have to add the role limit make sure you have to add the role limit as given on your live instruction page okay for me it's nine so i'm just going to add nine for you it might be seven eight nine ten so just add accordingly okay so just wait and let's see so data is added now we have to just add the row limit so for me it's nine so i'm just going to add the row limit to nine okay then we have to choose a table format and then just simply click on run just wait for a couple of seconds and let's see so data is added okay now just check this visualization with this are both the things are same yes both the things are same so what we have to do we have to just save this visualization so just copy this thing for the visualization name copy that make sure you do not copy that full stop okay copy the name click on this gear icon click on save and save as a loop just paste the name and click on save so you, you have done with the loop one close this tab and now just simply close this or just delete this command also okay now again go back to notepad copy the second look command copy all these come back over here and just simply paste and again click on save click on valid look ml and commit to push and this is a second look so just simply type look two and click on commit and click on deploy to production and it's done now again open the looker in new tab and if you just go back to the lab instruction and if you check over here it's again saying we have to use airport data set so again come back over here click on explore and here open the airports just wait for a couple of seconds click on start from here and if you just go back to the lab instructions here again they have mentioned we have to use the row limit to nine so just wait First of all, what you have to do, please pay attention over here. Choose the visualization as table format, then set the row limit to 9. And if you just check this note, we have to use pivot. So just watch carefully. Let me just zoom in for you. Okay. Now click on this gear icon and here you will get option pivot just simply click on this pivot option and here you will get option called airport facility type and up down arrow just simply click on this arrow and it will be converted into ascending pivot sort order once it's done let me just zoom out click on the run if you miss this part again go back to the video and just watch this part carefully make sure your visualization must look like this are both the things are same if it's yes then save the file so just copy this name click on this 
gear icon save and save as a look and just paste the name and click on save so we are done with the second look also now for the look number three come back to notepad copy this thing again close this tab and now just make the changes like this first of all just delete this thing okay paste the new code for look 3 click on save changes valid look ml click on commit and this is a look number 3 so just simply type look 3 click on commit click on deploy to production and it will be done couple of seconds is done now again open the looker in new tab now if you just go back to the lab instructions and check the look 3 this time we have to use a flight data set so please watch the video carefully because we have to make little bit changes over here also so first of all what you have to do come back over here click on the explore option then click on the flights wait for a couple of seconds and then click on start from here okay now what we have to do first of all we have to add a filter flight filter cup okay so now just simply come over here click on this gear icon and here you will get an option called filter now what is the filter it must be greater than 10,000 so just simply come over here click over here it's greater than 10,000 okay it's done now choose the visualization as table format and now we have to add the table calculation okay so just copy this expression click on this add option then choose the table calculation paste the ex expression over here like this now for the format it must be percentage and the decimal must be three okay for the name just copy this name okay copy this name and just simply make the changes now click on save and this column will add over here now please watch carefully if i click on the run and just cross verify are the visualizations same are given on the live instruction page okay for us what they mentioned the row number one must have the first column has city white planes okay so if i just come over here are the things are correct same no okay so let me just zoom in over here and here you will see percentage of flights so what you have to do we have to just change this order so if you just simply click on this arrow so it will be in descending order and once you change this percentage of flight cancel in descending order if you just see the visualization it must be white planes and are the both things are same yes so what you have to do just copy this thing do not copy that full stop copy this thing okay now come back over here click on this gear icon save and save as a loop and click on save and click on done so we are done with the third look also i hope you got my point what the changes we have to do on the look number three once you're done click on the cancel now again open the looker uh, and for the final look we don't have to use that command we have to do all the things manually so please pay attention because i know most of you guys going to make mistake over here okay so first of all what we have to choose we have to choose the flight data set okay so come back over here click on the explore option then click on the flights okay now here do not click over here just simply search for the origin okay please pay attention copy this search over here like this and here you can see in flights it must be fl origin and destination origin and destination please make sure you have to choose the origin and destination not only origin just make sure click over here and it will be added over here again i am saying cross verify it must be origin and destination okay now for the second we have to use a custom measure so just copy the name copy this name click on this cross click on this add option and click on the custom measure okay now just simply click over here and paste the average distance and choose that file and for the name just copy this average distance miles make the changes over here like this and click on the save once you click on save the column will add over here now if you just check what they said we have to add a filter what is a filter it must be greater than zero so just simply click on this gear icon then choose a filter and simply is greater than zero okay then what is the second line they said we have to add in ascending order okay so just click over here and just make the arrow to up 
so that is the meaning of it's in ascending order now if you just check the third point it must be row limit so what is the row limit for me it's 10 for you it might be different so just make the changes okay so it's 10 all the things are done now just simply click on run and if you just simply click on visualization and click on the table format and just cross verify this visualization with this are the both things are correct yes so just copy the name copy that name click on this gear icon click on save save as the loop and save and just simply click on save so we are done with the fourth look also and if you just simply come over here and click on the check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete the task number one guys okay now the task number two and task number three is very easy okay so what we have to do over here so just simply come over here okay so first of all we have to choose a flight data set okay so what you have to do click on this gear icon or you can say looker and then click on this explore and just choose a flight okay so now what they have mentioned what the changes we have to do we have to use flights then state then origin of codes and then flight counts okay so first of all just simply search for the city so just simply type city over here okay and here you can see aircraft origin city so just simply click over here so aircraft origin city is added then what is the second thing is state so just simply type state state and here you can see aircraft origin state just simply click over here this thing also added now what is the third point it's a code so again just simply type code and here you can see aircraft origin code so just add the code over here also so we are done with this now what is the last thing it's a flight count so just simply type count and here you can see flights counts okay just add over here and just cross verify are the four columns are same like from here city uh, aircraft origin city aircraft origin state code and flight counts are the both things are correct yes now here please pay attention we have to set the row limit as well so just type 10 because they mention on the last point of this task also so just add the 10 as a row limit and just simply click on run wait for a second and it's done now click on this gear icon and choose the merge result click over here just wait for a second and it's done now what you have to do if you just check this thing airports okay so here we have to again use the state city and code so again click on the airports and then type city okay then what is the second thing it's a code code and last thing is state so just simply type state and done you have done it all these things again cross verify are you include all the three columns state city and code S state city and code three columns are added now again change the row limit to 10 so it's done click on run and just cross verify this option with yours are the both things are same yes so just simply click on save just wait for a couple of seconds now click on the run option and then click on the visualization and then choose the bar option because if you just come over here and see this time they have used the bar option as the visualization so just wait and just cross verify are this visualization looking same over here do not worry about that color just cross verify chicago i l o r d chicago i l o r d are the both things are same yes so just simply come over here copy this name for your visual, visualization copy this name make sure you have to copy the second point as a visualization name copy this click on this gear icon click on this save to dashboard make the changes over here like this and now what you have to do copy the third point for your dashboard name copy this click on this new dashboard 
paste the name over here click on ok and just simply click on save if you do all the step as i mentioned you will get score without any error if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score okay now the task number three is very easy just simply close this tab click on this looker option then click on this folder and then choose the my folder okay now here what you have to do open all these looks in new tab just open this like this okay all the looks are open now come back to your first loop then click on this add to dashboard just wait and now click on the share option and once you click on share option you are able to get a new dashboard name so just simply click on this name make sure you have to click on the share option now just simply click on add save to dashboard so do not worry about this thing error again just cross if you get this kind of error i glad i face this kind of error so if you get face this kind of error what you have to do again click on this cross again click on the add to dashboard just wait again click on the share option and just simply click on the your dashboard name and just simply click on save to dashboard and this time we won't face the issue okay now again go back to your second loop again click on the add to dashboard again choose the shared option and again click on planes and just simply click on dash save to dashboard so you have saved two looks okay now come back to your third loop click on add to dashboard click on share option click on the planes and simply click on save to dashboard now again go back to your fourth again click on dash add to dashboard share choose your dashboard name and just simply click on save so you have added four looks onto your dashboard and if you just simply come over here and click on the check my progress you will get a score without any error and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day